Hitch in my GTH chums. I finally have the service rifle, the M16. It's been a pain in the arse. It took me about four and a half, maybe even five hours to get this thing. I've just spent over an hour, like in about four or five sessions, looking for this weapon. So I'm going to show you how you can customize it here. And um, yeah, it's all right, you know. Um, let's get the extended clip. So you can do all the standard stuff. It's nothing amazing, you know. You can put a grip on it to increase the accuracy. You can put a suppressor on if you want to, but I'm not going to, it's a waste of time. Uh, flashlight, but no underslung um, rocket pod, grenade launcher. Um, LSPD tint, I don't know. What do you fancy? I don't know, platinum tint, 12 grand. I feel like it needs something special like platinum because it's a ridiculous gun um, to achieve. So yeah, is it worth doing? No, it's not. I'd say, I'd say wait until it comes out and it Allegedly, it'll come out and cost 300 and odd grand, which is a hell of a lot better way of getting it than wasting millions of hours. I mean, we're talking, we're talking about eight million ko perico dollars. This is costing time. So this is an eight million dollar gun. Anybody, any YouTuber who says you can do this really quick, I think really quick is like um, two, two and a half, three hours. They're lying. They haven't done it at that kind of speed. So anyway, I'll show you how to do it if you so wish. But I'll also talk a little bit about performance. So let's get into this gun and see what it's all about. I'm obviously negative about it, but look, I've got my my uh, just like in Nam uniform now. So that completes it. Eh? From range, we're going to see if we can test the spread of this weapon. So here we go. Just try and keep it in one spot. Just do a full clip into that paneling over there. Okay, there it is. And um, what else should we check? Let's check um, the heavy assault rifle from the agency. Oh, it's all over the place. Bloody hell. It's difficult. That has got to be all over the shop. And finally, where has it gone? Carbine, the special carbine, if we can. Much better. Let's go have a look at the grouping. It's quite a distance, this uh, this shot. We'll see where we are. I mean, you can tell that the special carbine is a hell of a lot better. I'd choose this one over for accuracy. Um, so, yeah, uh, but um, yeah, the M16, this the uh, whatever you hell, hell you call this thing, <laughs> is got a lot more spread and a lot less accurate so there you go then the uh, special carbine which has been known for to be the best forever but that is the um, the, the mark 2 variant of the special carbine the standard special carbine is pretty damn good as well so just bear that in mind but I can't obviously check that because I've converted mine to a mark 2 from left to right we have the service rifle heavy rifle and the special carbine on the right there they're blowing up the Barossa 300, the latest new terrible car. This is a custom version on Benny's, don't buy it. Blow it up. And the heavy ones win with the special carbine last. From a distance with civilians, they'll take two shots to take down. So I'll wait for them to get back up. And two body shots, of course. I hit one headshot. There we go. And they are down. So that's alright, I suppose. Versus police, it's pretty decent, you know. Uh, you can just, it's accurate enough and have, it's got enough power to take down, take them down with a few, few shots. And it's just, it's a nice sound as well. I like the sound of the the rifle. That's decent. Um, but what does it offer that's new, really? Um, not a lot, not a lot, probably. So looking down the iron sights. Uh, these, are, these are all you get the iron sights, but I'm happy with that. It's not a problem. Um, it gets a, get, you get a decent enough zoom with it. You can take down some helicopter chums. If I could actually hit the chums, of course. And they've gone. Reload is pretty quick. Not bad. So how do you find the weapon? Well, you need five weapon parts. And there's 
as you can tell here a blue dot on the map is what you're looking for for the police areas where they have a crime scene investigation that you need to interrupt in order to get the weapon part so here's an actual one notice it's a little blue dot just like the car um, but it won't show up until you get quite close to it and as you get closer you'll get a bigger blue radius cone of radius to show you that the weapon part is in there this is my final one that's why I'm dressed in this ridiculous prunk, sprunk outfit in fact I just messaged the um, people in the in the um, the session to say what the hell have you seen this and it appeared as if like um, uh, I'd be heard God had heard me or something um, but anyway between these two guards these police people there's normally a weapon part so it's on the floor there as a trigger unit so first we need to kill them and then we need to annoyingly walk over it doesn't show up as a dot you see it there you can, just below my feet and um, there's a there's a weapon part this is one of five but this is five of five and you can see how difficult it is and the police will shoot you as well they will catch up with you and shoot you, you get a, they have a two star as soon as you go within that corner of radius which is why it's annoying eventually I press E and collect it as soon as you collect it you get the weapon which is currently in my hands so that's how you do it it's as simple as that I invited people in the session to come and get it but nobody was interested for good reason as well so here is the spawn locations for this police activity and uh, there's 10 of them. I'll give a link in the description and I'll, sh I'll just go through every single one of them just through this video for if anyone wants to use this, but I'd recommend you use the map instead. And um, yeah, basically as soon as you start a new session, it can be solo or a group session, you need to wait 20 to 30 minutes before the first spawn, spawn randomly generates in one of those 10 locations. So you need to go to every single one. Bear in mind, I have changed sessions about four or five times without get, getting any as well. So there are bugs in it, definitely, 100%. And also people say that um, uh, group sessions, open sessions are more risky and uh, more less rewarding than closed solo sessions. So that's probably the way to go. But I found weapon components in both these sessions. That's it. So that is the service rifle. Uh, really the main benefit is getting to become some kind of Vietnam superhero and doing some role play I suppose. It's a decent enough rifle but it's not the best in the game or anything like that like some YouTubers may well be saying. Oh it's my favourite they say words like that. Well it's not even my favourite because of the amount of hassle to go through it and uh, if anything I do prefer the special carbine simply because it's uh, more accurate and I need all the accuracy I can get though maybe Maybe the la slight lack of inaccuracy is, will cover up my own inadequacy, but I mean, it, also customization wise, the special carbine, if you get the Mark II variant, will give you some decent customiza customization options to really make it a lot better than this. This is just standard customization, it's not, it's better than nothing. And I'd say, as a rifle, it's better overall than the heavy rifle, so that is the benefit of it. It's a stronger, uh, well, it's a more accurate version of the heavy rifle. It's pretty powerful, more powerful than the special carbine. Um, but would I recommend spending three to five hours unlocking this? No, I wouldn't. Just get the special carbine for 15 grand. Upgrades, yes, you might be talking of a, I don't know, what's that, 50 grand? Let's call it 100 grand, all in. And... You're going to have a better weapon. It's got, a, and you get the the hundred drum magazine as well with the the standard special carbine, which you don't have with the uh, Mark II variant. So that's what I would recommend. Just buy that instead. But if you want absolutely want this rifle, then I'd say just do it in random sessions. Don't do it as a task to unlock. Don't just try and do it just for the sake of getting it done as quickly as possible. Because what I'd say is it's just set up so terribly because you've got a 20 minute cooldown cool down. so even after you find your first part you have a 20 minute cooldown before it will reset again and a new part will appear so that's a lot of minutes and just bear in mind in my final piece it took me one hour and 40 minutes of seeking after the 20 minute cooldown initially one hour and 40 and that was about five sessions which did not bear fruit at all 10 sites so it's bugged i wouldn't get i wouldn't do it now um i'd probably do it later on maybe when it's less bugged if that happens or even better wait for it to be released um to buy which they may not do i don't know some people say they're going to do it for 300 grand which is super cheap by the way i mean they um 
it's cheap that would be cheaper than the heavy rifle but also it's cheaper than three to five hours worth of your time eight million i said then i care up ko perico it's an eight million dollar rifle to me this that's how much time i'm not counting the amount of time i've put into this video christ on a bike we're talking 16 million on that <laughs> anyway my recommendation is don't get it th through this method um just do it in random sessions when you see the blue dots and you see the police there take advantage of anyone and, and the other thing is as well that I've not mentioned is that if you get some chums to help you out if they're in a set session and find the um, the weapons part and they stay there on scene apparently you can join the session and then pick the, we the weapons part up yourself apparently that's what you can do but to be able to do that with friends economically I think it's going to be still pretty tricky and you need some pretty understanding friends to do that on the Friday night because yeah guess what guys rather than just play the game we're going to be doing this treasure hunt which takes forever and is ultimately frustrating instead I was about that for a gaming session uh, not me Th no thanks I'm not going to bother with that anyway drop a like and subscribe if you found this useful hopefully it's a useful guide for everything performance and how to actually get the weapon in the first place I think I've answered hopefully all the questions there will be more questions drop them in the comments obviously and let me know what you think of this weapon if you've got it thanks for watching have a great day if you're playing GTA and just play the game don't go searching for this weapon